Warning. The following video contains flashing lights and images. Viewer discretion is advised. Registered Phenomena Code 135 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Mechanical Hazard Extra-Dimensional Hazard Visual Hazard Emotional Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-135 is contained within a standard containment chamber in Site-015. This containment chamber is to be secured with a magnetically sealed double airlock door. Two ASF personnel are required to stand within range outside of RPC-135's containment chamber after testing. This is to ensure RPC-135 will not rematerialize outside of the testing chamber if there are no human presence within its vicinity. Any test subjects exposed to RPC-135 are to be removed from the containment chamber before performing additional testing. Psychological evaluations and mandatory psychiatric treatments are required for any test subjects who have worked with RPC-135. Amnestics can be administered if a subject's condition does not improve. Should RPC-135 breach containment, ensure civilian and research personnel are escorted into the nearest room. Security personnel are to utilize the site surveillance equipment to track RPC-135. One CSD personnel will be used to keep the entity in place for ASF to move on to a mobile containment transfer unit. It is imperative that ASF personnel must avoid direct eye contact with the screen when recovering the entity. RPC-135 is a closed iron statue. The object is approximately 1.8 meters tall, weighing 227 kilograms and bearing a CRT TV in place of its neck. The anomaly constantly broadcasts a rapid sequence of random cosmological imagery representing a signal pattern. This pattern is a method for RPC-135 to influence its victims and communicate with them. This signal pattern also triggers an emotional response to those who observe the entity for an extended period of time. The source of the broadcast cannot be traced. RPC-135 will always remain motionless even upon activation when in the presence of humans. If there is no indication of a human presence in visual range, RPC-135 will instantaneously rematerialize near any living human within a 10-meter radius if there are no obstructions between it and the anomaly's target. How this is possible is unclear and research is ongoing. Upon making visual contact with the anomaly, Test subjects will become entranced and stare into the anomaly's CRT screen. In most cases, the subject will approach RPC-135 and attempt to make physical contact. RPC-135 screen will then turn to static as the test subject climbs into the screen and vanish. How this occurs, as the screen is too small for an adult human to fit through the aperture, is unknown. Indirect observation of RPC-135 does not trigger its anomalous effects, even in its active state. Observing the output indirectly shows the screen of RPC-135 displaying static on all tested visual media. Recent tests required the subjects to be equipped with retrieval harnesses and shoulder-mounted cameras to retrieve the CSD and any visual recordings. However, upon passing through the aperture, the tethers attached to the test subject's retrieval harnesses were severed. Any visual records of the test were lost. Discovery Log 135-01 After matching several missing person reports filed around Detroit, the Authority was able to trace the entity's pattern to an abandoned apartment complex. It was then did the Authority come upon RPC-135, locked in one of the collapsed basements. Addendum 135-1 Several tests were conducted to determine the extent of RPC-135's anomalous effects. Test Log 135-1 Subject, CSD-1335, paralyzed from the waist down. Procedure This test is to determine RPC-135's anomalous effects when interacting with handicapped individuals. Result CSD-1335 observed RPC-135 for a total of 30 minutes before pushing himself off of the wheelchair. 
The subject then crawled towards RPC-135, where he then attempted to pull himself up and into RPC-135 screen. ASF personnel were ordered to enter the room and recover the CSD. Test Log 135-2 Subject CSD-3315 restrained to a chair Procedure This test is to determine how long RPC-135's anomalous effects take place. Result. CSD-3315 remained restrained in the seat for about six hours of exposure. No other changes have been observed in RPC-135's behavior. CSD-3315, however, became agitated after consistent exposure to RPC-135. Subject had to be retrieved and sedated following his breakdown. Test Log 135-3 Subject CSD-0105 Procedure this test is to determine RPC-135's effects in a dark environment. Result: CSD-0105 enters the dark containment chamber. The room is illuminated upon RPC-135's activation. Subject proceeds to observe RPC-135 for several minutes before attempting to make physical contact. CSD-0105 was retrieved without incident. Test Log 135-4 Subject CSD-6184 Procedure This procedure is to determine if and where RPC-135 leads its victims to. CSD-6184 is outfitted with a retrieval harness with a shoulder-mounted camera. Results. Subject enters the chamber, observes RPC-135. After making physical contact, the subject begins to climb into RPC-135 screen. All visual feed was lost upon and the cord connected to the retrieval harness is disconnected. There is a clear indication that it was cut with precision. Test Log 135-5 Subject CSD-3124 Procedure In this procedure, a tether hooked to a pulley system was attached to CSD-3124's ankles with the intent of reeling in CSD-3124 upon partially entering RPC-135 screen. Results. Subject observed RPC-135 for several minutes before making physical contact. CSD-3124 then proceeds to climb into RPC-135 screen immediately after. The pulley system was activated to reel CSD-3124 in. However, there was some resistance preventing the recovery of the CSD personnel. Subject exhibited signs of distress, shaking violently and kicking back. Pull strength was increased, and two ASF personnel were assigned to assist in extraction with minimal results. CSD-3124 was violently torn apart from the waist up, with his upper body disappearing into the screen. The remains left showed signs of precision cutting before CSD-3124 was torn. Test Log 135-6 Subject: One Lab Rat Procedure to minimize loss of CSD personnel, this procedure is to test whether or not RPC-135's anomalous properties can affect animals. Results. No results. RPC-135's property doesn't have an effect on animals, it seems.